Hey everyone, JP Wisco here. It's that time again. So, today for you guys, just wanted to make a quick video showing you some of my recent pickups. Uh, I've pretty much got kind of two, um, two different kind of stacks here. One, I, I picked up some Her uh, Topps Heritage cards, and then I also got some cards for my uh, Derek Jeter collection. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. Uh, first one up, I uh, got this nice uh, 2012 Heritage Zach Granke. Uh, this is the Chrome. It's numbered to 1,963. Of course, 1963, this being the 63 design. Uh, pretty, pretty nice looking card. I really like this card. You know, Zach Granke... He was with the Brewers for, you know, a year and change. Uh, there's not too many cards of him out there where he's actually wearing a Brewers uniform. Uh, so, but this one is, and it's a really nice looking card. So, uh, I like Zach Granke, and it doubles, you know, for my Brewers PC. So, pretty cool card there. Uh, next up. Got this nice uh, Justin Verlander, and uh, this is the 2013 Heritage, and I believe this is the blue border uh, variation that I believe is a, was a Walmart exclusive. Uh, so nice JV, uh, still in the Tigers uniform. Uh, here's the back here for you guys. Um, yeah, so cool. I like Justin Verlander. Pretty pretty slick looking card. So uh, next up, uh, got finally. Um, I was talking about him the other day. We got a uh, Francisco Lindor, and this is a 2017 Heritage Action variation. So really cool looking card. You know, as I said about Lindor, you know, he's really being slept on. Um, and, um, yeah, so starting to get some nice uh, Lindor cards for my collection. And, uh, yeah, I really like this one. Go pick it up, along with his update rookie. All right. Uh, okay, the next one, this was actually a pull. I pulled this the other day. Uh, we got here a... Uh, Nice uh, 2019 Heritage, and this is the Chrome Refractor of you know, Big Bryce Harper. Uh, so this one's numbered to 569. Um, you know, I love Bryce Harper. I, I think Bri I like Bryce Harper, you know. Uh, he really, really gets just, like, so much hate from fans. Like, I don't know. Um... Especially now, you know, he's he's sort of painted into this sort of um this sort of tragic clown figure because he left the he left, you know, Washington and they went on to win it all, you know, the year after he left and you know, everybody kinda hates on Bryce Harper, calls him overrated. Um, but I think he's fun to watch. I think it's good that, you know, baseball has an individual um, you know, with some personality and, you know, even, you know, if he stirs some stuff up, but I really don't think Bryce Harper, you know, what has he actually really done? I think people just kind of hate him. I think people just like, don't like his hair or something. <laughs> um, but I like Bryce Harper, definitely future hall of famer. Um, the compile numbers will take care of that. Um, you know, he's just been doing it for so long. Had a solid season for war. So last year so. But anyway, speaking of Nationals, next one up is this nice uh, Juan Soto 2019 uh, Heritage. Uh, this is the purple refractor, so it's a little more common. It's not numbered. Um, cool card. Uh, very, very off-center, uh, but that's okay. I, I'm not too... I don't sweat centering too much unless it's, like, egregious, like a miscut or something. Um, but yeah, Juan Soto, the young stud, he's already got a ring on his finger. Um, gotta love Juan Soto. I think this is a really cool looking card. I like these rookie, all-star rookie cards. Um, and the cool thing, I hope that, uh, Topps continues this for Heritage. Uh, the first series of Heritage, they tended, 
this year they put sort of the most of the big names uh, were short prints, and I actually think that's a good thing. I think it adds, you know, because the first series doesn't usually have, like, uh, all the, like, best rookies. Series 2 generally has the better rookies. Uh, so it, it gives Series 1 a little more, you know, oomph if some of the bigger stars are short prints. You know, those 1 and 3 pack, sort of, I guess, like, mini short prints. Um... Uh, for for this reason, this is one of the reasons I really like 2019 Heritage. 2018, like the first series, it's like all the stars were just in the regular set. The short prints were like nobody, pretty much, which was, it's kind of boring, right? It's cool to get a big player and have it be a little bit of a more rare card. So next up, we got Ronald Acuna Jr., uh, just the regular paper. Uh, this is the, you know, the rookie, the all-star rookie, uh... And, you know, one of those one and three short prints. Um, awesome. I ba Basically, I got these for all, like, the most of the stud rookies from 2018. Walker Bueller, uh, another nice one. You know, this guy, future ace of the Dodgers, for sure. Although, Kershaw, you know, Kershaw had a, had a you know, a darn good season this year. Another very, you know, typical, at least regular season of Kershaw. Although, you know, um, but, but Bueller probably in a few years, he's going to be the guy. A uh, really exciting pitcher to watch. Glaber Torres. Uh, let's not forget about Glaber Torres. Two-time All-Star. He's like 22, 23 years old. He's playing in the pinstripes. Uh, excellent young player. Um, yeah, don't sleep on Glaber Torres. I probably should have brought him up in my video where I'm talking about, you know, get these players and cards for your collection. Glaber Torres is definitely not one to sleep on, so uh, cool card. And then we got, you know, Big Shohei, the last of those kind of, the sort of the core four 2018 rookies, um, Otani, Torres, Soto, and Acuna, I would say. But then you've also got Walker Bueller. Uh, Shane, uh, Shane Bieber, Mike Soroka. I mean, that 2018 was just completely loaded. So, all right, so that'll do it for the heritage. Uh, next up, I'm I've got some Derek Jeter pickups uh, for my Derek Jeter PC. First one up is kind of a very interesting card that I've like never even knew about. Um, and it's this one. And check this out. Look at that picture. That is just the isn't that just the coolest picture like you've ever seen <laughs> on a card? And this is a Fleer Tradition. And this looks to be actually um, some kind of let me adjust the focus here. This actually looks to be some kind of like contest card. Uh, Diamond skills. And as you can see on the back. Um, it says like 1998 official competitor, and so it says congratulations on your efforts uh, in the 1998 Fleer MLB Diamond Skills Competition, and then it has like local administrator signature down here. So this is like an entry card, I guess, but it's basically like a baseball card. And, um, very cool looking card. The seller of one of my other cards that I'm going to show you just kind of included this for free uh, in the package. So uh, definitely a pretty awesome looking card and a nice addition to my Jeter collection. So um, Next up, I picked up the 1997 Bowman's Best Jeter uh, base. I think this is a really nice looking set. Uh, yeah, so 97 Bowman's Best. Um, I'd been meaning to buy a, like a hobby box of this. They had a couple on eBay, but I think they might have sold. You can actually pull like a Jeter Auto in this. Um, but yeah, cool looking card, 97 Bowman's Best Jeter. And then one from mm, one of my all-time favorite... Um, you know, products, that's Metal Universe. Uh, this is 1998 Metal Universe, Hardball Galaxy insert. Um, this is a pretty cool insert series. Um, 
It's uh, a few players. Well, it's it's actually I correct myself. It's actually not an insert technically. Uh, it's part of the base set and it has a normal number, um, but it's kind of like a pseudo insert, I guess, because it doesn't follow the base design. Um, Hardball Galaxy, so it's a comic book artist, you know, drew some players in kind of a comic book style. I think I might try to get this set, this mini set together of all these Hardball Galaxies. They're, they're fairly common. And yeah, 98 Metal Universe is like one of my favorite products of all time. I really wish at some point I could get a hobby box of it to rip, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I had my chance a few months back, and uh, the box sold, and I just haven't seen anything on eBay for months, but 98 Metal Universe. I love Metal Universe. Uh, going to try to, you know, seek out some uh, 96, 97, and 98. Uh, I have a lot of the 99 cards, but... All right, and speaking of that, Metal Universe again. So here we have a very nice card. Uh, this is the 96 Metal Universe, the first year of, of Fleer Skybox, uh, you know, Metal Universe's product, 96. Uh, this is the Platinum Parallel of the Derek Jeter um, in the back. Uh, awesome card. So these Platinum Parallels, the entire base set um, came in this, like, uh, Platinum background very silver mirrory parallel. Um, you got one platinum parallel per pack. So and this is the Jeter. Um, this card is in really good condition, and I think this one is pretty condition sensitive. So I'm thinking of actually sending this one to PSA because uh, it just looks so nice. Um, and I'm wondering, I think I might be able to get a 10. Uh, although that might be lofty if I look at the back. Yeah, probably a 9. You can never hope for a 10, right? Even on contemporary cards, but... So yeah, 96 Metal Universe, Derek Jeter Platinum. Awesome looking card. I'd recommend this one. Um, I was watching one of, uh, Baseball Collector's videos, and he was talking about, you know, Derek Jeter cards, and, you know, he's going into the Hall of Fame... Uh, very soon, and I think, you know, the interest in Jeter is going to spike, and I think it's a good time to buy Derek Jeter cards for your collection, is like now, um, they're probably going to go up, and so, and I think some of these issues, like these 96 issues, where, you know, 96 was kind of the first year, this, 96 was basically, you know, it's like Derek Jeter's true rookie season, right? Uh, he played a little bit in 95, a handful of games, and then 96 was his first full season, and he won rookie of the year, so, I don't know, uh, you know, in the hobby, Derek Jeter's, uh, his rookie cards are generally considered 93, although, you know, he was still about three years away from the majors in 93, but, you know, in the hobby, the 93, you know, the SP, the 93 tops, those are considered as rookie cards, but I think you could see some interest in uh, cards such as this one very early of his playing days, 96, you know, he won rookie of the year that year, maybe some of the 95 issues, 97, like, I think um, these early Derek Jeter cards that aren't maybe widely considered to be his rookies, uh, but are n nonetheless, you know, from his actual rookie year. Um, I think you could see some increased interest in cards like this, so I would, I'd pick up something like this if I were you. Okay, uh, and then one more. This is an awesome card, my only slab that I, uh, picked up, uh, and that's this one. So this is another Jeter. Uh, this is the 1998 Topps Finest The Man insert. And I love this card. As you can see, it's got this really cool textured look to it. Um, and it's also pretty rare. As you see on the back, it's numbered to 500. Uh, this is number 487 of 500. So it's kind of one of those, you know, quintessential rare 90s inserts. Um, and I, I really love the mid to late 90s products. And uh, this card is just awesome in so many ways. Um, you know, it's just, it's got this really, like, 90s look to it. 
Um, and you know, it's again, again, early Derek Jeter, 1998. Um, and I think the cards like this, uh, these early nineties Derek Jeter cards, uh, that aren't, you know, what are considered as rookies. I think the interest in these is going to go up, um, you know, even more than they are now, but there's also a refractor version of these, uh, inserts. I believe they were numbered to 75. Um, they are very pricey. Uh, the Jeter, I think I saw one sell for a few hundred dollars. Uh, so those are a little pricey. So I, you know, just opted for the regular, still rare, numbered to 500. Uh, pretty cool card, you know, 90s insert. Gotta love it. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Peace.